Yo, yo, what's happening, Arcaders? Danny here, and I'm coming to you live with a brand new stream. Now, normally, um, it would either be either the Metroid Prime remastered stream or even uh, a stream of me doing um, uh, Pikmin. But um, in light of what my good friend Ray is doing over on the Arcade Archives website, which I highly recommend you go visit if you haven't already, um, we're actually doing a special event on the site called Data East Tober, which is kind of like a nod because given that it's October, and of course we're actually doing a highlight on the video game company Data East, which uh, for those who don't know, it was a developer and publisher that was pretty popular during the 80s and even going into the 90s as well. So basically what I'm going to be doing tonight is actually something uh, actually simple, a little bit more simple, but nevertheless fun. And basically what that's going to entail is essentially me playing the Data East classic, Burger Time. So um, now basically um, I don't know too much about Data East um, given that I was never, I never really played too many of their games. Uh, the only two that come to mind really are uh, Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and of course, um, Bur uh, Burger Time. But not necessarily the arcade version, but rather the NES version. So that was ba so those two things are really my um, my two big um, exposures to everything Data East related. So, but um, so. So basically, that's what that's what this is going to be about, and uh, and if you haven't been following the arcade arcade the arcade archives uh, website, um, I highly recommend you do, because my good friend Ray has basically just uh, he just published a uh, he just put out an article on there or made a post, um, about about the company a little bit and uh, basically what it how it started and what are some of its most notable games and basically what became of it uh, going into the future. Um, so basically, what tonight's stream is going to be is just me streaming the original arcade classic, Burger Time. And instead of doing caravan mode, because honestly, that's only going to be good if I was playing it for five minutes. And I have no plans on stopping at five minutes. Instead, I'm actually going to play as far as I possibly can and just seeing how, how high I can go or how, how, um, how, high, how high on the rankings and on the high scores I can get. Um, now, of course, I'm not sure if I want to go with original mode or high score mode. So kind of a little bit of kind of two minds on that one. Um, but actually, you know what? I am just going to go ahead and play on the original mode because that's just how I roll. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. I'll just let the time play out a little bit there. All right, bonus for every 2,000 points. And of course, yep. So for those who don't know what Burger Time is about, you're basically playing this chef named Peter Pepper, not to be confused with Peter Parker. And your job is basically to make big giant burgers. Now it sounds simple, but you got to deal with certain people with certain enemies called the food foes made up of three specific characters mr egg mr hot dog and mr pickle and yeah try saying that 10 times fast uh, but basically you have to be while you're making uh hamburgers you kind of have to deal with those guys and you have to try to either avoid them or try to find a way to stop them. now there's only two ways you can do this um basically you can either drop a burger piece on top of a food foe to squash them or you can basically try to run over a burger piece while a food foe is on it for them to be able to then fall down at least two levels. The more food foes that you have on the burger piece um, as you run it over and it drops, how far it can drop depends or how many levels it, it can fall down depends on how many food foes you have. If you have one, it's going to fall down two levels, as you can see on this demonstration right there. If you have two, it's going to drop down a little bit more. And then, of course, if you have more than two... Well, yeah, it's it's gonna drop pretty much all the way, and I know that. Um, and of course, one way that this can help is basically just sprinkle them with pepper, which stuns them for a while, and you can pass right through them. Um, so basically, but again, you only have a limited amount of pepper, so you have to really conserve. Fortunately, though, 
there's some uh, some food that oh, actually some uh, nice little items that pop up, which when you get when you touch them, not only does it increase your high score, but it also increases your supply of pepper by one. And also every time you complete a level, your your amount of pepper increases by one as well. So you have that. So in all, it's actually it's a very very good game and definitely very challenging. I mean, granted, the NES version pretty much drove me up a wall. I mean, I made it past the second level, and but I didn't make it past the third in the on the NES version anyway. Um, with the arcade version, I've pretty much gotten past at least the third level, but believe you me, you're gonna be it. It gets harder. It gets more difficult the more time goes by. And again, those who played this game, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but I didn't get a chance to play the arcade version until I got to Disney Quest years ago. And believe you me, that game quickly became one of my personal favorites. And still is to this day. And which is why I'm glad that when it was made available for purchase on the Nintendo eShop, I got that I got that sucker like like very quickly. I, I got it. And um, so now the beauty about about the playing the original mode is that you pretty much have access to a lot of different options. Now surprisingly enough, and I don't know why. Okay, so basically display settings. Now, I don't know if anybody else out there um, knows this or not, but for some strange reason, I try to turn on the wallpaper, and for some odd reason, I don't get anything. This is what I get. I just get like a, like a diagonal bar, um, or like, like a diagonal like thing on there. And I don't know if I'm missing a, if I'm missing a step or anything of the sort. But it is kind of a little bit of a drag because it's like, well, uh, if basic, if there is a wallpaper option on this thing, why can't I go back? Why doesn't it show on the? I mean, I mean that's the only part that really I don't get. So, so if anybody out there under, uh, knows how to be able to unlock that, that is, if I'm even able to, um, if it's possible, just uh, drop me a line in the chat. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and let's get this party started. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, the volume is just a tad bit high. So let's go ahead and make this just a tad bit low, or at least lower the volume just a little bit. There we go. All right, now, let's begin. Okay, on second thoughts, maybe I lowered the volume just a little too much. Look out below! <laughs> and at least the beauty of playing on original mode and not on caravan mode is that at least I don't have to worry- I'm not- I don't have time constraints in terms of uh, how high of a high score I can get. So again, for those of you who are just joining, uh, welcome. I'm basically doing a, a live stream uh, of me playing the original Burger Time. Just to coincide with our uh, new highlight here at the Arcade Archives called Data East Tober. Now, of course, some of you may remember when we did uh, Konami Tober last year. That was pretty fun. And it was actually in celebrating Konami Tober, that's what pretty much convinced me to go ahead and start doing streaming. And all, it hasn't been too bad, I have to say. Alright, finally. Whew. And of course, one little problem with squashing these guys is that the moment you do, more pop up. So close! Oh, I should have sprinkled. Oh. Alright, here we go. Phew. Okay. 
Sorry, Mr. Pickle, but you are not getting me. Oh! Ah, waited too soon. Waited too soon. Oh my gosh, or rather <laughs> too late anyway. Alright. Let's try this again. Again, I mean, this is not going to be a straight through, you know, oh, I'm only going to do it once type of thing. No, no, no. I'm going to see how far I can go. Going up! Alright, got an extra life. Oh, uh, and that was probably a good thing. Oh, darn. Oh. Alright. Alright. Okay, alright, no worries. I'm gonna try that again. Again, this thing's. Again, this takes work. Like with most things. Alright, just gotta make sure the volume on my uh, on my headset's not too high. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Burger Time, we pride ourselves in making sure that we have nothing but the best high-quality ingredients out there. Yes, you thought that Burger King and McDonald's are actually pretty are top tier? No, no, no. Here at Burger Time, our buddy Chef Peter Pepper always makes sure that these burgers are nothing but the absolute best. Now, it's funny, I'm surprised that nobody has ever tried to do like a spoof of that. <laughs> Out, sprinkle pepper. I, can't, I gotta keep telling myself that. My gosh. Oh boy. You know, one thing that would be pretty interesting is that sometimes with some food foes, and again, I haven't played the original. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm really hoping this this play session isn't short lived. Because <laughs> I know I can do better than this. This is definitely going to take a few uh, a few tries. Okay then, but uh, but yeah, but one thing that I think that would be pretty cool um, for one one take on uh, on Burger Time is what if like given like say like Mr. Hot Dog or Mr. Egg, like if you were to drop a, a burger piece on like on top of Mr. Egg, like imagine for a minute all of a sudden like there's like yolk that like gets sprayed all over the screen right when you squash them, just to kind of add kind of like how in uh, Mario Kart Eight. You know when uh, when your opponents send like a blooper after you and, and just and 
shoots ink at the screen where you can't see a thing. That would be that I think would make for a good gameplay dynamic because all of a sudden, you know, it's like, yeah, you took out a food foe, but all of a sudden it's like, you know, all of a sudden what's left of them just got splattered all, all over the screen. So it's like, oh gosh, it's like, I mean, on the one hand, I mean, granted, it's food stuff. But I think the idea of, you know, getting rid of a food foe, but that creates more problems for Chef Peter Pepper and you, the player, because you're trying to, like, see where you're going. You know, that would kind of, like, add... I think that would, like, add to another level of um, of depth to the gameplay that would kind of, like, really, like, complicate things, but not too much, because you feel like, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta be careful, because, yeah, you get rid of uh, certain food foes, but all of a sudden, you know, getting rid of them might be just as problematic as them just kind of like, you know, wandering around. Or something like that. I don't know. I mean, it's just, I mean, granted, I mean, it's it's one of those things where, you know, like little like gameplay elements like that, or if you, or even like things like, um, like if, if, you know, Mr. Hot Dog, as he's walking around, he leaves like a, like a greasy trail. He He's just like, because again, because he's a hot dog. You know, what if he leaves like a, like a greasy trail as he's walking along behind and all of a sudden you're having like a hard time trying to move or because you're just like, you're like, it's almost like you're on ice. and You're like, whoa, don't slip type of thing. I mean, granted, I am not a game designer, but, you know, it's it's those little it's those little like suggestions or ideas that be like, OK, would it work? Would it not work or would it be too complicated? You know, even though, granted, I did take um, game programming for one semester at in college, even though I... Um, I quickly found that that teaching style, or at least the way the professor was teaching it, wasn't, it, it didn't, it didn't really work, so. Alright, so let's try this again. I know I got it this time. I know I do. I don't think I do, I know I do. Going down! That was close. Now what can Mr. Pickle do? Hmm. Now what are, let's see. I'm not sure. I Yeah, the tricky part is trying is waiting for them to show up. I mean, I know that sounds almost kind of like I mean, maybe that does sound a little weird because you know you don't want because you don't want the food foes to actually you don't want to wait for them too much to come to you because then you're like I thought that was the last one. Ugh. Okay. Well, this one is now. Okay. Level three. Always the problematic one. Or at least for me, anyway. But you know what? I'm gonna say this one may be different this time around. Alright. That should keep him busy for a little bit. Thank you. 
Oh, uh, trapped. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, all right, still got one more life left. And only one more shot of pepper. So I gotta make this thing count. All right, I'm out of pepper. Which means I got to do this a lot more. Me here. Come on. Oh, oh man, I waited too long. Oh boy, I swear I'm not this rusty. <laughs> I'm really not. Uh, but again, whether it be the arcade version or the NES version, this stage is always the pain in the neck. Oh, and of course, if you don't move enough in a certain direction, you think you're trying to go down the steps only to find out that, nope, you're not even close to it. All right. All right. So good. Mmm, ice cream. <laughs> Can never go wrong with that. Alright. Okay, so three burgers down, one more to go. I hope everybody's uh, week and weekend has been doing pretty well, or rather the previous weekend. Um, I know that uh, basically the, well, essentially the final episodes of what seems to be the final season of Power Rangers is pretty much uh, out now. And I, I have to admit, I never thought I would hear that. Because, again, there have been many, many times where, you know, the producers of Power Rangers have said, Oh yeah, this is the final season, blah blah blah. And it's like, we've heard that. I've heard that one so many times before. Going down. All right. And this time... And that wasn't even planned. That that part was not planned. I just I just basically just. Uh, but yeah, uh, going back to, to the subject of Power Rangers. Um, again, I am if this if Cosmic Fury is indeed the final season of Power Rangers, then then I'm glad that you know I'm glad that 30 seasons or 30. I'm glad that you know. It, I'm glad that it was able to last this long and that they were finally able to find a way to, you know, take, you know, take the franchise off into the sunset for the time being. Now, I don't doubt... I don't doubt the fact that, obviously, it's not going to stay dormant for long. And that they are going to get back to rebooting it in some fashion. Though, I haven't the faintest idea how they would do that, or if they should do that. Thank you. 
Wow, holy smokes. All right, let's see. Five bits of pepper. Going somewhere, guys? I don't think so. You want me, you're gonna have to come and get me. Oh, so close. Oh, I was on a roll. I was on a roll. Not a Kaiser roll, though, but <laughs> nevertheless. That reminds me, I like Kaiser Rolls. I can't remember the last time I had one of those. Phew! That was close. Alright. Alright, so we just gotta go about this calm. No big deal. A ride? Come on down then. Okay, okay these guys are really getting ticked off. <laughs> okay, I just want to try and beat that high score. Oh boy. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Okay, alright, phew! Did gain an extra life, it just happened to be, well, like that. tougher part. I admit I have not made it past this one at all. So... question now is, can I make it past this level with with no pepper? That is the challenge. Can I do this? I do not know. Oh boy. Okay, I'll admit, I did not know I could do that. <laughs> oh, okay, so close, so close. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was pretty cool. Okay, all right. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Phew. And speaking of which, let me look at the online rankings and see. Okay, all right. So I'm at, I'm at number 336 with 54,750. And... And Sandy's at number one with 2,558,400. Wow. That is definitely something. Huh. 
Oh, so there's an easy mode? Um, on second thoughts, I think I'll just leave it as is. <laughs> I didn't even realize that it was basically... I didn't realize that, um, that, on this, that with these arcade games you can actually change the difficulty. I have to admit, I did not know that. <laughs> I just kind of went for it as it, as it was. <laughs> Who knew? All right. So, um, so yeah, let's see what else. Um, though I have to admit, um, segueing back to Power Rangers, um, I have to say that for me, I mean, again, I haven't seen all of Cosmic Fury yet. I've only seen a few episodes. So, um, but again, I, I do know the gist of what, of what happens, so I'm still going to watch it anyway. It's just a matter of trying to find time to do it. Oh, Ugh. ouch, that hurt. So, um, but even then, you know, I think if there's one Power Ranger season that I think really deserves the title of finale, it would pretty much be Power Rangers RPM. It really would, because in a lot of ways, PR RPM really, it, it does, it really does feel like a definitive ending with that one, because just the very nature of it, and just the fact that it is a kind of very dystopian future AU type of story really lends itself to where you could have that take place at any point after any of the other seasons of PR and it wouldn't feel out of place at all. It really wouldn't. So it definitely makes me glad that I actually have um, RPM. Granted, I downloaded it from iTunes and it's on my phone, but again, Having watched the season once before and getting a chance to, you know, to watch it again, which I'm doing right now. Um, I mean, obviously not at this moment, <laughs> but it is a series that, um, but again, it is a season that is worth watching, if nothing else. And I'm definitely going to try to make sure that I do a little article follow-up type of thing at some point, because again, that that is that is a season worth worth talking about. And Burger's going down! So yeah, I mean, so for me, it's like, okay, I mean, Cosmic Fury can indeed be set up as sort of like the, the defin like, the final season of, po of Power Rangers, and then you can basically have, you know, I mean, you can pretty much have RPM be sort of like the, the epilogue to the entire thing. You really could. I mean, you really don't, I mean, you really wouldn't have to do too much heavy lifting in that regard. Okay, good. All right, I've got them lured, well, almost all of them, to this exact spot. All right, so all I gotta do now is just... I'm gonna have to basically squash them and squash them good. All right. Woo! All right, gotta try and go about this carefully. Time it right. Shit. 
Sheesh, these guys are like rapid animals now. Jeez. Gotta make sure Pepper's right at the ladder. Oh boy. I'm trying to. Oh man. All right, thirty-six thousand. Yo, Uberdude five two seven. It's good to see you, buddy. So yeah, so basically what I'm doing tonight is uh, not a continuation of Metroid Prime Fusion or even um, a continuation of Pikmin One, but rather a little highlight just to to go along with with uh, with us highlighting um, Data East on the archives. I figured for this stream, I do something different and actually do one of Burger of the arcade classic Burger Time. And I know that there's at least two other Burger Time uh, type games that I actually do have that I will be covering in later streams. So everybody, stay so to everyone, including my buddy Ubernerd five two seven. You know, stay tuned for that. I'm just, it's just a matter of trying to schedule a time when to do it, but I am planning on doing just that. So, but yeah, but still, it's good to see you, buddy. And of course, everybody out there in the chat, you know, or excuse me, to everybody out there that's watching this, again, feel free to drop a line in the chat. Believe you me, the more the better, you know, it makes it, makes it more lively. So, um, so yeah, so basically what I'm doing right now is just basically seeing how far I can go high score wise and just, um, you know, and just having a good time through it all. Um... So, and again, folks, again, um, if you haven't seen any of uh, UberNerd527's previous streams, I highly recommend you do. They are very, very fun to watch. <laughs> so, let's get back to my burger time. All right, here goes. And... Burgers away. Hmm. All right. Oh wow, it was your dad's favorite too? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, Burger Time is definitely one of those games that, you know, you can play it for a few minutes and it's gonna have fun, or you can play it all the way through, like, like really hardcore and and still have fun with it. So again, it's a game that you can play in short spurts or play like over, you know, X amount of time. There was this one colleague at Disney Quest, and I don't know if you remember this, this, uh, this one because, but basically she was that good at being able to get to like the highest level. Like, I, I can't remember exactly which one it was, but again, there was this one Disney cast member at Disney Quest who was able to get to a very high level. And I don't know if it was basically stage five or or what, but basically I think, no, I think it might have been, uh, maybe not stage five, but maybe another one. Maybe the one after that? But either way, I mean, she went very far. Whew. Ah, the old domino effect. <laughs> but yeah, wow, but again, Uber, I'm glad that, um, that Burger Time is, uh, was your dad's favorites. And yeah, I mean, and with good reason too. It, it's an, it's such an amazing... Again, it's an amazing arcade game and definitely one worth, you know, having in some capacity. Wow, and I didn't even get touched. Woo! Oh yeah, just out of curiosity, um, do you remember what, uh, to Ubernerd, um, do you remember ex uh, which, uh, stage your dad was able to get to, um, on Burger Time? Um, it's okay if you don't remember, but uh, but yeah, I'm just curious, you know. I mean, for me, I mean, again, as folks have been watching, um, and even you know, uh, back when back during my Disney Quest days, I mean, I was definitely not 
one of the... I mean, I, I pretty much... It's like, this level is the one where I peek at. It's not... Yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. You know? Just curious. Alright! Woohoo! Alright, any in the anyone in the mood for fries? Alright. Ah, the old Commodore 64, cool. Come on, Pepper, move it! Oh, woo! Cool, all right, so you had it for the Commodore 64. Nice! All right. Oh, one pixel too late, ouch. <laughs> so, um, graphically, was the Commodore 64 version close to the arcade version, um, or were there some slight differences to it? Okay. Woo! Nice, all right. Woo! And four bits of pepper. All right. Oh, oh, so close, so close. Oh man. Also, oh, it looked almost the same. Cool. All right. Nice. Whew. Okay. Now on to the tougher one. Hoping to maybe I should have sprinkled it some more on him. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. But wow. So it looked almost the same. Awesome. Oh yeah, but then again, the Commodore 64 was always pretty good about uh, you know staying pretty graphically true to what the to what it was supposed to be anyway, so. Oh! Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about that guy! Holy moly! Woo! But wow. Oh yeah, and uh, just out of curiosity, also Ubernerd, um, have you had a chance to try any of the other, um, any of the other versions of Burger Time? Because there is, you know, I mean... Oh man, oh, I guess that was as far as I went on that one. Wow. But yeah, oh my gosh. But yeah, I mean... And I have to admit, at least it's funny how um, when I played the original NES title, uh, you know, I didn't really make it very far, but yet, at least here on this one, you know, I've been able to really make up for lost time on that one. 
so um uh, let me see um so yeah so just out of curiosity have you had a chance to try like super burger time which i know we had um during the disney quest days um and of course it turns out they even did one for the game boy which i've actually been uh been playing on my switch um and of course um there's another one that they did just recently oh well a few years ago um which i only did the play the demo version of and it was on the uh, also for the switch um it was definitely something different but it was still more or less the same uh had the same gameplay mechanics as uh, the original burger times so have you had a chance to try any of those and also this is a question for everybody else out there in the chat um you know and have you have you besides the original arcade version has anybody else out there been able to try their hand at either the nes version or even the one um the other arcade version, the other arcade game, Super Burger Time, or even Burger Time Deluxe for the Game Boy, or even the other Burger Time game for, um, oh gosh, I forgot its name. Again, came out for the Switch, but again, I don't, uh, I can't remember the, the exact title for it. Because I I can definitely say I've tried all of them, and I did manage to beat uh, Super Burger Time. Though, believe you me, that it was no walk in the park. You know, I mean, it does get... Yeah, those levels get harder the, the the further along you go. So that was definitely, but still, Super Burger Time was definitely, um, that was definitely a good one. Um, and I do like how in um, in Burger Time Deluxe for the Game Boy, you actually have a password system that you can actually use. So at least if you forget, if you don't want to start at the, at the very beginning, you can at least use the passwords to kind of um, get back to where you were. So, um, so yeah, I mean, um, so this is not going to be the only uh, Burger Time stream that I'll be doing. Um, I am planning on doing, um, oh wow, Burger Time once for my birthday. Oh wow, cool. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, uh, wow. I mean, again, Ray's pretty cool. And again, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Ray is basically the founder of the Arcade Archives website on WordPress. And um, he's pretty much been letting me and Josh um, you know, work on it. And really just try and, uh, and get some more, uh, get some articles about it. And uh, he was the one who actually, he was the mastermind behind the data, behind Data East uh, Tober, um, which is our, which is what we're celebrating right now. So, um, and of course, again, he does have his article already uh, put up. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you check it out. There's definitely a lot of good stories about Data East that I did not know. And again, I knew very little about data east aside from the two games that i had mentioned at the beginning of the stream and of course uh, for those who don't know it was basically dash galaxy and the alien asylum for the ness and of course uh this classic title so and i believe also they did a an nes version of robocop which i don't i think i played once because i think my cousin had that and that was basically it but uh, to get back to to what you were to what you said, Uber Nerd, uh, Ray, oh my gosh, him giving you a mini arcade of, of Burger Time once that was that wow, yeah. I mean, and of course, again, for anyone who's played just the original arcade game alone, again, th this game is addicting, and you are going to want to basically play it again and again, even if it's only for like a small bit of time or a longer time. So, uh, but wow, that was really cool of him to do that. Very cool. All right, so. Let's go ahead and give it at least one or two more go arounds and let's see how far I can go. And so, um, but again, to my buddy Ubernerd527, as always, you know, just, um, you know, again, just glad to hear from you, buddy. And, uh, and yeah, let's, um, let's keep arcading because this stream is certainly not over yet. <laughs> Oh, wow, yeah, I mean, uh, but yeah, those mini arcade uh, things are really, really cool. I mean, the only ones I've seen are, of course, the one of, or at least the most notable one, is the one of Pac-Man. And I think, and I could be wrong, but I could have sworn there was one they did, too, of Missile Command, I think? Though I might I might be remembering it wrong. But yeah, they, those those little, uh, those those mini arcades are always, like, those are always fun to, to, uh, to try out. They're really, really good. Gotta have the ice cream. Very important. Oh man, I could have squashed that guy. Go 
going up. Hmm. Alright. And I think we can definitely call this order fulfilled. <laughs> And on to the second order! Oh, Sorry, Mr. Egg, but I think the yolk's on you. <laughs> Take care of this guy up here. Phew! Okay. I think one more pixel and I really would have been toast. Alright. Phew! That was too close. <laughs> close to that hour mark, so let's see how far I can go with what the little time I've got. Okay, all right. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. There. Huh. Yolk's on you, pal. Okay, that was too close. Whew. Barely got out of there by the skin of my teeth. Whew. Oh boy, Whew. that was too close. All right. Wow, okay, all right. Definitely gotta move fast. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Woohoo! Oof. It's like. It's like sudden death, only instead of Smash Brothers style, <laughs> it's Burger Time style. Whew. At least it's not caravan mode. Whew. Oh! Oh! Oh man, one pixel too much. Ouch. Too close, too close, all right. I'm not done yet, I ain't done yet, no sir. Oh, oh my gosh, why was I, oh my gosh, I moved too much, too, too much. Oh, oh boy. Okay, all right. All right, finally. Oh man, whew. 
Yikes. Okay. All right. All right. Um, hmm. Let me see here. Let's go for caravan mode or high score mode. That is a very good question. Because I still got five more minutes left on the thing. Uh, hmm. Oh, well. All right. Well, at least I could... If I go for another go around, I'll uh, I'll do it I'll do it in just a bit. Um, but yeah, so basically, what I'm planning on doing uh, is besides this stream, um, I'm also gonna see if I can try and do a um, more streams of the other Burger Time games that I have, namely Burger Time Deluxe for the Game Boy, and of course Super Burger Time. Um, so so stay tuned for those. Um, it won't be tonight for obvious reasons. Um, but because uh, again, I can only do one stream, uh, you know, because um, again, I, I do have other things. But uh, but yeah, but basically tonight is obviously it's all about the arcade version of the original classic. Um, the next one will definitely be it'll either be Burger Time Deluxe or it'll probably be Super Burger Time. I'm still kind of on the fence about that. Uh, but it's going to be either it's going to be one and then the next stream after that will be the will be the other one. Um, so that's going to be uh, so far what the schedule is. Um, will there be another stream this week? Um, that I'm not 100% sure about. Um, if schedules work, um, I'll basically make a post. And again, for those of you who, um, who do follow me on Twitch, uh, just make sure that you just, you know, visit my channel for notifications and I will let you know as to when those streams do happen. So, but yeah. So in a nutshell, uh, no, actually we are not done. I am not done by a long shot, so I'm actually going to go for one more go round. Uh, still not caravan mode, uh, just basically original mode. Um, so let's go ahead and see how far I can go. Um, and of course, again, uh, and again, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Okay, food foes, let's dance. About the, about the food foes is that once they commit to a direction, you can quickly turn in the other direction and keep going. <laughs> All right. Woo! Oh yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, to Ubernerd, uh, before I forget, um, in terms of the mini arcade game, uh, how far were you able to get to? Just out of curiosity, I mean... Uh-oh, uh, yeah. If you drop a burger piece while they're not on there... Oh! Okay, alright. Meant to do that, meant to do that. <laughs> One burger complete. All right. Let's see if I can try and lure these guys over here. It's all good. I mean, but hey, at least now you have your own little uh, 
at least now you have your own burger time that you can uh, you know you can play with you can play and uh, and whatnot. So and again, like I said, the the mini arcade games that I tried, the only one I tried was really Pac-Man, um, but that one was definitely a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. It's always those ladders. Don't move Pepper quick enough. He is not going to catch on to those ladders. And then you're going to be like, oh man, why are you not moving? <laughs> There we go. Fries. All right. Oh, oh my gosh! I thought. I... Okay. Uh. Yeah, just got one more burger piece to do. And now I have an entire armada chasing me. Oh man. Ooh, still. That was fun though. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, folks. So that pretty much concludes uh, tonight's stream of, and basically the first stream, um, highlighting uh, Data East Tober, or at least as much as I can. <laughs> so. Um, Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh wow. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, the mini arcade games do have a tiny screen. Yeah. So, but yeah, they they really do make good decorations, though. They really do. So um, so yeah. Wow. Cool. So again, so to everybody, um, you know, thank you for thank you very much for coming on to my stream, and of course, again, to my pal UberNerd five two seven. Again, always a pleasure, you know, to see you uh, come on board. Um, and again, and again, um, to to tack on to what you said. You know, again, at least, yeah, I mean, it does, those little mini arcade games uh, really do make good decorations, if nothing else. They really, and, and in many ways, they really help brighten up, um, like, any place, really. Um, just just for the little, just because of what they are. Because, again, I, I've seen them, so I know what they look like, and it's like, wow. But, uh, but yeah, because I knew about, like I said, I knew about the Pac-Man one, and I think I could have seen Missile Command, but I, but yeah, Burger Time, wow. Awesome. So, again, so to everybody, uh, again, Thank you to everybody, to UberNerd527, and to everybody um, out there for coming on to my stream um, for not, ju not just a stream, but one um, celebrating Data East and their contributions to the video game, to the video game industry as a whole. Um, granted, in my case, my experience with them is very limited, given that it was only, well, specifically limited to two games. Um, but still, those games really were a lot of fun. And at least Burger Time, I, I've been able to make progress. Dash Galaxy, I was stuck. I hadn't the slightest inkling as to what in the world I was doing. Um, but again, if they do end up releasing that, because I know that lately Nintendo's been uh, releasing a lot of obscure titles on the NES, as well as uh, games that never saw the light of day this side of the Pacific. So there is that. So hey, one never knows. So, but again, a big thank you to everybody for coming on board and stay tuned for future streams because the Data East, um, or rather the Data East Tober is going to continue for all this month at the very least. Um, of course, naturally, much like with Konami uh, Tober last year, it might, this, this also might extend to more than one month. So stay tuned for that. And of course, stay tuned for uh, for some articles that uh, on the website called the Arcade Archives, which is on WordPress. You can follow us there. Um, so until next time, you know, keep playing like it's 1981 and I will see you guys on the next stream later. And of course, my buddy Uberner527, thanks a lot for coming on board, man. All right. So 
Take care, everyone, and have a good day.